Well, it's Halloween Eve Eve. Weather-wise, we're pretty good outside. It's been a cloudy day for the most part. Uh, it's been seasonably mild-ish. Not a lot of sun out there. Take a look with your St. Joseph Health weather bug camera. We're up in the Lexington Financial Center, but we can see cool things sometimes if we're pointing in the right direction. So what you're seeing there, you're looking all the way down toward the uh, Harrington Lake, Dick's Dam. So the, uh, the power station down there. Nice, nice view. So what's going on tomorrow? Rain, storms, wind, but it's a warm day tomorrow. So enjoy that part. Some of that rain may be locally heavy. A couple of storms may be on the strong side. For Halloween, starts rainy and warm, but then it becomes windy. Actually, it stays windy. The wind just shifts direction and it turns much colder, dramatically colder. For the weekend, almost an early winter feel. So what's going on tomorrow? Actually, today we are looking at that storm dropping down into the Rockies. This is what's beginning to take shape. Uh, we're still on the southwest side for southwest flow, so we stay warm by tomorrow. The system begins ejecting out, could be bringing record cold. We're talking not just a daily record, potentially monthly record in Denver from this cold core low. But that begins to come on out as it does so. It's picking up a whole lot of moisture. And then finally we get you to Thursday. That upper level low parks here over the Midwest. We are watching that cold air begin to spill in. Our day begins warm, but then we get under the trough. And when that happens, our temperatures will plummet. So there's a front actually in the area now. It's much warmer to the east where temperatures are running well into the 70s. On um, central western Kentucky, we're significantly cooler, but still above normal. That's the real cold air behind that front. So that's the area of low pressure that will be developing for us. Your future track, there's your aforementioned front. What happens actually becomes a warm front again as it does so tomorrow morning. Rain begins to break out as we continue through the day. Periods of rain will come through. Some of that will be locally heavy. When the storm is nearby Wednesday late day into tomorrow evening, a couple of those storms could be strong. We'll keep an eye on that. Meanwhile, a nice little snow rages across the Midwest. For us late or early Thursday morning. We are still on the warm side of the front. Then the front comes through. The rain continues into the afternoon, but by the time we're getting to trick or treat, the back edge of the rain is making its presence felt as the cold air continues to pour in. So how does it happen? What does it look like? Here's Halloween morning starting off in the 60s. That's nice. That cold air continues to just advance. And by the time we're in the afternoon, temperatures are 40s to low 50s, except in eastern Kentucky, where we're still in the 70s by trick or treat time. We could be in the upper 30s to around 40. Yeah, it will be cold, but it should be drying out by Thursday night. 70s east, 60s and 50s as we head back to the west off the Mesonet. Right now at the Bluegrass Airport, we do sit at 62 with a light northwest wind. So for tonight, mainly cloudy, seasonably mild. We're in the low 50s. Tomorrow, a day that has rain and thunderstorms moving in. Some of those storms could be strong. It'll be a windy day. Uh, temperatures into the upper 60s. Halloween, mid 60s in the morning. Temperatures falling to the upper 30s at night. And then the cold will last into the weekend. There's more LAX 18 news right after this.